arts. Well, I appreciate the fact that I could get my message across, that you were facilitators, and I would just repeat what Orton said, the last line of one of his poems. And, oh, maybe that, yeah, love each other or die. To be one of the angels. <clears throat> yeah, you'd be you'd be cute with a pair of wings, Mark. Ah, oh, Lord. Uh, there was an elfin-like quality to Maury. He was a tiny man to begin with, and his illness withered him even more. But precisely because he was so small and at the same time vibrant and vulnerable, you felt that you could let your guard down with him that it wasn't necessary to use any of the masks that most of us assume to conceal our feelings so much of the time. He spoke as easily of dying and of his emotions as he did about his bodily functions so that anyone could recognize in Maury Schwartz a part of himself. And that is how most people reacted to these conversations when they were first broadcast, as something warm and familiar and helpful. Certainly, that is how Maury intended it. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. Good night.